I believe the Cleveland Browns are going to go 10-6 and six and win their division. Um, it seems like everyone's talking about Super Bowl expectations for the Cleveland Browns. And um, I, I think it, we better slow down and just worry about the Browns making the playoffs first before you talk about the Super Bowl. I think it's kind of silly. Uh, but look, I, I love this team so much. I do. I love Baker Mayfield. I love everything about it. I, I'm all in for it. I think it's going to be one of the more fun stories of the fall, which is the Cleveland Browns. And, uh, man, I, I love Baker's attitude. He's scary good. He's got potential to be an elite quarterback. And it's hard to ignore all of the talent on the Browns roster. You got two fantastic wide receivers, Odell Beckham Jr., Jarvis Landry. You got, you know, don't forget Antonio Callaway, another wide receiver for the Browns. Uh, Nick Chubb at running back, not to mention you're going to get Kareem Hunt back after an eight-game suspension. There's so much talent, and you can't forget the tight end, David Njoku. It's just unbelievable. And that's just the offense. Don't forget on the defensive line, you have Miles Garrett, Olivier Vernon, Sheldon Richardson. Oh my gosh, talent, talent, talent. And then on the back end, you have Denzel Ward and Greedy Williams playing corner. There is a lot of really good players on this Browns team. Talent is not an issue for the Cleveland Browns this year. There are two things that I believe can hold the Cleveland Browns back from making the playoffs if things do not go well. Number one is their offensive line. Almost everybody you hear talk about the Cleveland Browns, myself included, will talk about all their skill players. Odo Beckham Jr., Jarvis Landry, this guy, that guy. You don't hear a lot of talk about their offensive line because that is the weakness of their team. It's not like a glaring weakness, but if you had to pick one thing, what is the weakest link on this Browns roster with their offensive line? And it, you know, if everybody's doing their job, if you know, Odell Beckham Jr. is wide open and Nick Chubb's running hard, but the offensive line isn't doing their job, all these ball carriers, all these specialists could get very frustrated and it could go ugly very quickly if the offensive line somehow is horrendously terrible. Now, the other more legitimate concern to me is everybody's attitude in the locker room. It sounds silly, but it matters. You know, this is Freddie Kitchen's first time ever being a head coach in the NFL. And you have a ton of personality in this Browns locker room. Again, the Browns are amazing on paper, but this is not. This is not Madden. It's easy on paper to go, wow, look at all that talent. Look at all these guys. But my question is, do the Browns have enough emotional maturity to reach their full potential? I know that's not a sexy term. I know that might be annoying for Browns fans. They've heard it a bunch. But, you know, I think the Browns are more than good enough to win their division. I think even make a deep run in the playoffs. They're a really talented football team. But will they get in their own way? A lot of teams are going to try really hard to get in their heads and make them trip up. The Browns are going to play a number of primetime games this year. What that means is games at night, games where instead of a couple hundred thousand people watching or a couple million, everybody, there's only one football game on and everybody watching football that night is going to be watching the Browns. All eyeballs, everybody eyes on the Browns. It's going to happen a lot to the Browns this year because they're pretty good. And the Browns all offseason have made a bunch of headlines for their personalities. And we know Odell Beckham Jr.'s reputation. He has a reputation around the NFL for being moody. Teams are going to try to taunt him and get in his head. He's kind of like a hand grenade. If you can pull that pin, he's going to explode all over the place. People are going to be yanking, trying to get at that pin, trying to get in Odell Beckham Jr.'s head all the time. That is the new reality of the Cleveland Browns, trying to get a reaction, trying to set off OBJ. Now, I believe in the Browns. I do. I think they're, I, I, man, I'm one of the people that I, I really believe in them. But if there is anything you're going to be concerned about, it's the emotional maturity in the locker room. Again, I think the Browns are going to go 10 and 6. They're going to win their division. Uh, I, I'm really excited for them. But that is the one thing that could slow them down this year. Talent's not the problem. Do they get in their own way? with their emotional maturity. 10 and 6, that's my prediction for the Cleveland Browns. 10 and 6, number 1 uh win their division at least in the AFC North.